Gamers Court Cheating Part 4. Before we even start, a big shout out to Be Amazed. What great content, man. Link is in the description too. Perplex. Call of Duty is one of the best selling video game franchises on the planet, but it's also home to hundreds of thousands of cheaters who plague the servers every day. Now, you'd expect these to all be pathetic preteens desperate to fit in with better players. Oh my god! Two guys! You, you can't point to me at that when you say I'm old and a boomer. So that can't be me. Use Wait, my key. headset. No, because it's not my headset. Look, this doesn't have a puffy thing. I got nervous for a second. It's not me, so that's not my headset. As Perplex proved back in April 2022. Ranked as the number two player in Call of Duty Vanguard, Perplex was streaming his game on Twitch when all of a sudden this happened. I picked up a fucking pistol, man. Damn, who shot that kid? Cutie? Yo, I caught it. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, oh, no. Did you catch that? Oh, Let's no, rewind. dude. Don't blink or you might miss it. There. Those telltale red boxes. Yeah, sorry, man. That glitch oh. just revealed that you were definitely using wall hacks. Oh, that sucks. Wall hacks. Like I say, the pair of balls you have to have in order to cheat live streaming is absurd. You shouldn't cheat in general, but to do it live with a cam on? Oh, man. Now, I'd have expected this kind of basic hack from an unseasoned 10-year-old. <laughs> Bro, you are just making cameos after cameos, guys. You guys are beasts. But Vanguard's second best player? Mm. Yeah, In a desperate kinda... attempt to save face, Perplex apologized profusely to the community and claimed he'd only recently downloaded the cheats to get camo skins. Get, the fuck, get out of here, dude. I just downloaded them just briefly just so I could uh, XP a little bit. Get out of here. Mr. Pixel. The only thing more satisfying than a cheater getting exposed is a cheater accidentally exposing themselves. Case in point, let's take a look at the French streamer Mr. Pixel. During one stream from 2020 where he showed his viewers a camera shot of his entire oh, setup, no. one follower innocuously asked him to hit his insert button. <laughs> he got one guy? Oh my god! But nothing happened. Oh. But as he switched back to his <gasps> regular streaming view, the viewer clarified he wanted him to hit another button as well. And that's when it all kicked off. Ah, Azer! <gasps> he got one guide. Oh my god, that's crazy. The viewer tricked him into hitting a keyboard shortcut that brought up any hidden programs wow. he was using. And right there, for a split second, our old friend Engine Owning flashed up on his screen. Oh man. Engine Owning. He tried his best to play on and explain it was just a glitch. Why does everybody go to, that's a glitch, guys? Every single time. It's either Glitch or Clara. Kenji. Back in March 2022, Kenji, the Call of Duty Vanguard competitive player, was accused of using cheats in a 2v2 match. He appeared to be using wall hacks to locate his opponents, giving him a hugely unfair advantage. Kenji wasted no time trying to clear his name of the allegations, and so set up a monitor cam to prove to the world that his godlike locator abilities were all Oh natural. my god, I just saw it. Oh my god. Why would you do that? Like, why? Yeah, that's a textbook wall hack. I mean, the idiot streamed himself like, using hacks while like trying why? to prove he wasn't using hacks. Man, the sheer lack of brain cells involved in this is just spectacular. It's Kenji clearly forgot the world could see him and slipped back into his old habits of using wall hacks to pretend he was good. He was immediately booted from Checkmate Gaming wow. and quickly nuked his streaming accounts, yep, there they along go. with all his social media. Bro, everyone, and then once they get caught, they just like leave the internet. It's Timmy. Have you ever heard of smurfing? Yes. It's where high-ranked players create new accounts to play in low-rank lobbies in competitive mode. Sadly, smurfing is a huge issue in most mass multiplayer online games. And pro players like... No one playing a game when they die goes, Aw oh, man, shucks. Oh, you wouldn't know, can't relate. That's right, you never die. I forgot. My bad. The prominent streamer is a well-known, highly ranked player across multiple first-person shooter games. But he took his ace abilities a little too far when he tried to complete a marathon stream of a Smurf account in Valorant. Oh, wow. Where he attempted to grind his way from the lowest to the highest rank in the quickest time possible. But back in November 2021, Valorant started to take the Smurfing issue seriously. Something Timmy found out midstream. Ten seconds left. 
Wait, wait. So he didn't cheat. He was smurfing. And they banned him for smurfing? But he was doing a challenge from the beginning all the way through. He shouldn't be penalized for that. I don't see a problem with that. He was doing it for content and for a competition and a challenge. Ruining lobbies is fine if it's for content. No, I don't mean that. You know, when you bring it like that, you know, that's a good point. But I mean, if it is a challenge and he's starting from the beginning and going through, I mean. Gonna go rob nags, but record it and say it's content. So it's fine. It does not Next. Nags will never cheat because he doesn't make content kek. Okay. The good admin strikes back. Wait a second, we seen this. Are you recycling? When I say the good admin, I think most of you already know who ah. I mean. Yeah. Yep, we're pulling the spotlight back on to Camomo, the Rust go. admin who knows how to hilariously deal with cheaters causing havoc on his servers. Back at the end of 2021, Camomo caught a cheater who appeared to be using all the cheats in the book, including an ESP hack. In enclosed spaces, he'd senselessly spin around, clearly trying to locate other players through the walls of his base. Luckily, Camomo had just the thing to help teach this guy oh, a valuable man. lesson. A landmine. <gasps> oh One, my but two. How do you how are you playing a server and there's a landmine behind you and you don't question it? Like But sometimes not even two landmines is enough to teach these cheaters a lesson, so Camomo had to roll out the welcome mat outside this guy's oh illegally my made base, God. which was made entirely of landmines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that look down. Oh my God, Honestly, that's amazing. I could watch Camomo deal with dingbats all day. That's amazing. If you aren't subscribed to him already, be sure to check him out on YouTube and Twitch. I think we're going to have to go check this out. Going to have to do that. Sophia slays Ramirez. There are a lot of subtle ways gamers can cheat in mass multiplayer online games that don't directly involve them hacking, but they're considered cheats nonetheless. And professional Valorant player Sophia slays Ramirez discovered this back in September 2021. Slays' account was suddenly suspended during the Valorant Champions Tour game Changers North America Series 3 event. Wow, what the? And she was banned from all affiliated events for three months. Valorant's developer, Riot Games, accused her of boosting, also known as busing, uh, where she'd knowingly played- Busing? I know what boosting is. I've never heard anybody call it busing. All right, if you've heard of bussin' before, press one. Oh, decent amount of you, actually. But does it make you feel good? No, that's busting. She insisted that she'd never knowingly played with a cheater and that someone in Riot Games' department must be targeting her unfairly. In response to this, Riot Games brought out the big guns and provided a statement that dissected her account oh? mercilessly. Now, in Valorant, if someone is detected using cheats, the match is automatically terminated and a big red screen ends the game, informing players that hacking has been detected. It's pretty hard to- I would love to be in a game like that, to be like, yo, that's gotta be so cool. Like if you were getting rolled and then that happens, you're like, yo, not only is it done, but you got to be a part of that. It's actually cool, man. She nuked all her streaming and social media channels and went quiet. But then three months later, oh, she's she back? back up on oh? Twitch and Twitter, apologizing for her toxic behavior and promising to do better. Well, what do you think? Does she deserve a second chance? Good question. What do you think? Do you think she deserves a second chance? I kind of want to hear from you. The instant no giga chats. She's hot, so yet. Yeah. Doesn't matter if she's hot or not, dude. There's a courtroom. I do believe people can change. I do think people could repent. You should be punished if you cheat in a game like this. If you cheat in a game and ruin other people's times, you shouldn't be cheating at all. A game is designed to have fun. Minimum of a year. Absolute minimum. In this case, I think a year is good in this case because she wasn't cheating. She knew what she was doing. Minimum a year. Take it from there. But definitely nothing before that. Okay, Nags. I want to test something. Same question, but it's chat's collective favorite VTuber. Should she be forgiven? You know what? Good question. Alright, it's your favorite VTuber. Should they be forgiven? Really, guys? Cody Miller. If I'm remembering correctly, I think this is the Halo guy? For this next cheater, we have to bring out the history books ah, and rewind the all the way back to August 2005. This is when speedrunning, the sport of completing a game or level in the fastest time possible, was just emerging. And what I'll say with this, with speedrunning or anything, that's why I always tell you guys to question, the same thing with me. 
like a lot of people like well i trust nags you know nags has a good record of over five years as a content creator you still need evidence and proof this will go to show you why it should fall for everybody no matter how big or small you are it should be the same for everyone that you should have proof in something if you accomplish something and it should be no problem to do that that a speed runner known as cody miller aimed to have completed the game halo 2 on the hardest difficulty setting possible legendary in just three hours and 17 minutes without dying. Considering how early this was in speedrunning's history, it was a massively impressive feat that secured him a spot in the 2007 Guinness Book of World Records Crazy. and gained him fame in the speedrunning community. So much so that in 2011, he was invited to an official Awesome Games Done Quick event to showcase his incredible speedrunning ability live on stream. And that's where his ruse oh fell boy. apart. Despite supposedly setting the record, Cody repeatedly got lost. <laughs> this would be me if I was like, guys, I beat Halo in like, three and a half hours you would know instantly even if i had the record i could see myself still messing up though and getting lost oh man um, dropped it down to heroic oh, but oh. Not once <laughs> twice oh twice. oh my god <laughs> to normal we all have bad days and being on the stage like that in front of tons of viewers and in an event like this, like especially when speedrunning was so prominent, like in its early stages where a lot of eyes were on people, it was nerve wracking. I could get having some nerves and jitters and, you know, being a little off your game, right? But having to drop it entirely to hero and then dropping it down again? I'd kiff you know this, but being on the easier difficulty nets a faster time most of the time. Thanks, Captain Obvious. <coughs> A America. There's no question about it, Call of Duty has a serious cheater problem. And in August 2021, Activision went on a ban hammer spree, kicking as many as half a million cheaters off their servers. If they'd been quicker about it, they might have caught streamer A America in their crosshairs. In January of the same year, this player took part in an official Twitch Rivals tournament and What's bagged this? a tasty $11,000 oh. in prize winnings after coming in second place and winning the MVP title. Hey, we won MVP in Twitch. Well, the MVP pizza. Thanks to you guys. We didn't win $11,000. <laughs> Why would you point to me and say cheater? I played the game for an hour. I don't think I even had time to even understand where to get cheats for the game. It was a few months later in May, a tweet thread from Warzone world record holder Sims pointed out multiple clips of A America acting sus. Bro, this guy does not see me A side and starts pre firing. He looks to the right a little bit for no reason. Pre oh, and then wow. I it's sus, but you can't put it on there now because especially when you're playing at this caliber, you're pre-firing almost everything. But that is pretty sus. To combat the allegations, during a live stream, he allowed someone to remotely access his PC via TeamViewer. What? Trying to prove he had nothing to hide. As you're about to see, this was the dumbest move he could have made. Because this investigator went rifling through his emails. Oh my- yep. And those are emails from A America to a company called Gator Cheats, showing A America actively looking to- Bro, just was like, I'm going through your emails. Are you kidding me? Who was the person he invited on? He initially claimed he was only inquiring to buy and didn't purchase anything. Of course. Hey, I'm just curious about your prices. You know, I'm not really interested in buying, but just for research. Ultimately though, he never suffered any real consequences. His Twitch stream was taken down briefly, a though A America claimed this was for unmoderated hateful content, not cheating. So he's still running what? around on the COD servers. And guess what? He's now a pro player for the Atlanta FaZe Clan. Of course, it's a FaZe Clan. The real Geo. Yo, the real Geo. I don't know who this is. When Call of Duty player Fonazen, Bro, do, do I, all people cheat just in Call of Duty? ...was streaming back in November 2021, she noticed a player whose gameplay didn't make much sense. Wait, they weren't even looking at me and I died. This guy's cheating. Yeah, bullets don't work like that in Call of Duty. Unless you have a certain hack on allowing you to hit enemies without aiming at them. 
Fonazin reported the player, called The Real Geo, and began spectating his streams. <laughs> that is such a hacker type name. Like, you'd see some dude speed hacking like Counter-Strike, and what's his name? The Real Geo. It literally fits the model. Played she wasn't the only one calling him a cheater. Someone else in his chat accused him specifically of using the Magnetic Bullets cheat, which is an option that can be found in engine owning. Ah, yes, that old chestnut. But the real Geo claimed he had no idea what engine owning was. Did he? Uh, watch this. If it's in his search bar, dude. <laughs> it's highlighted! Oh my god! Why do they do this? Take a good look at those engine owning links in your browser that are coming up purple because you've already visited the site. And let's pay particularly close attention to that all important purple purchase oh, section. No. Not sure I expected much I from someone who literally Googled Google. Okay, listen, I've done that before. That's not a big deal. There's a few of you that do it too. Survivor.